Hey son, little basic operations on our AR-15. This one's a little different than the Yankee Hill that we have in the house. This one has the uh, uh, Adams Arms gas system on it. Uh, this is our Smith & Wesson m and uh, has the Veltor uh, free-floating front end. That's, you know, if you get lucky one day and get you a grenade launcher, you just pop this off and pop the grenade launcher right on. But I doubt you're going to get one. But uh, I'm going to go over the basic operation of this one. Obviously, you know how to cock it, shoot it, but you've never gone through the process of cleaning this one. So, uh, always make sure your weapon is empty, as this one is. Once it's cocked, uh, this is on safe, which is fine. This has uh, two takedown pins, one at the rear and one at the front. All right? You really don't have to take the upper and lower apart to clean it. Uh, you can just pop the lower loose right here from the rear. Uh, basically, you would push it in on this side. I'm going to take a bullet and show you how to do that. It makes it, makes it easier. Uh, basically you can take a bullet and push that pin in and pull it out on this side and you can tilt uh, the upper receiver pull out the bolt carrier assembly uh, you can brush any areas in this free from uh, uh, any carbon and stuff like that this gun right here runs much cleaner than the Yankee Hill because it, it, it does have a this is a gas piston design it's not the direct impingement where it blows hot gases up into the front of the upper receiver over here driving the bolt carrier backwards into the buffer tube over here you notice uh, that this one, this one right here this bolt carrier wants to pop out it won't on that, that Yankee Hill you have to pull it out because this one the spring loaded. Basically, you cock your, I mean, you pull your operating handle back about partial way like this and slide your bolt carrier out and it'll drop out of the way. And then you can continue to bring this out until you feel it come up against the groove in there and then just drop it straight down. That's those grooves right there and it comes out. At this point, you can just clean it from the rear. Uh, if you feel more comfortable with it off, you just push this front pin out uh, and pull it and separate the lower, set it on something sturdy, and then you can work on it from here. The only difference between this rifle here and our, our, our standard M4 is the gas system, like I said. Basically, to take this one down, you push this pin in and you rotate it to the right side of the rifle one quarter way that releases it you can pull this straight out then you can tilt the rifle down the operating uh, piston will come out operating rod gas piston will come out and you can clean in here just a simple wipe down it stays fairly clean too well it does get a little carbon on it and all but it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty wide open. It, it operates pretty good. So to put it back together, you go back in the same way it come out. And it, it goes through the hole down there. And then you take that, push it all the way in, push that button in, and then rotate it back to the right where it's facing straight up or you can uh, you can actually bring it down all the way around over here it cuts the gas off a little bit more or it's, it's not ejecting the shells it depends on your weather condition in the up position is where it works pretty good right here to go back with it uh, well I walked through on how to strip the bolt carrier assembly this one like I said it's equipped with uh, a spring-loaded uh, front end to take your firing pin out there's a, a Carter key right here. You can use an actual correct size bullet and you just grab it right there. 
or you can come on this side and push it out. Come back around over here, pull it on out. What that does, it allows your firing pin, that's this chromed piece right here, you can actually pry it on out and let it drop out. You can clean it, as you can see this one's really clean. Uh, and once that happens right there, uh, you can actually take your, uh, I forget what this piece is called, basically it operates your bolt head, but basically that just slides out, okay? You don't have to turn it sideways like you would on an M4 because this has the flat piece on the on the bolt carrier where the op rod, op rod hits it and you pull it out. There's your spring right there. Uh, you really don't have to go down much deeper than this. Uh, if you need to, you can pop this pin out right here and you can take your extractor out. This one has the, uh, the BCM uh, power extractor on it so this is you're probably not going to fool with it a whole lot and if you ever have to take your plunger out you got a pin over here you got to push out and this that and other but basically you go back in with the extractor side on the outside over here all right and then you basically just uh, once you get it in there take your guide right here put back in there take your firing pin Slide it back in from the rear, make sure it goes all the way forward, and then you can replace your Carter key from this side. Now, if it ever gets bent, you're going to have to replace that key because it, it gets to where it won't come out that little small hole over here. So this one's fine. Now, to go back together, basically, you set your boat carrier back down. You want to take your op rod. Go back into the, your upper receiver group. Just, just feel around and you'll feel it and it'll drop into this groove and then push it halfway forward. Slide your bolt carrier in and you're good to go. Reattach it to your lower, but I'm gonna do that in just a second. Uh, let's see here. This one, uh, this one as you know, I, I attached the, that uh, Magpul BAD battery assist device on this one. Uh, I like it where I can release the bolt on this side instead of having to uh, come around, leave my uh, my grip up front and come around and, and hit this piece right here to release my bolt carrier. I can do it from either side. I can lock the bolt back from this side. Of course, you know, you are left-handed. Uh, you can uh, do it on this side or you'll just have to You'll, you'll learn how to use it. Uh, I really don't know how to explain to use it for you to use it that way. Um, this one also has the KNS anti-rotational pin for the hammer pin right up here. It keeps it from wearing your receiver out if you shoot a lot like we do. So uh, to go back together, you take your upper receiver, your upper assembly, put it in the front pin. and pop it in. Alright, then you'll tilt it down. Like I said on this one you have to push the bolt carrier forward a little bit and then pop that pin down. Cycle it. Make sure everything's fine. Check it. You can check it. You can put it on fire. It's got a nice trigger on this rifle. I've done a lot of work on this rifle. And uh, the only other points I have about this rifle is uh, you know uh, this is the uh, CTR butt stock uh, from Magpul. You can lock it in about five or six different positions. Once it moves, you can lock it down with this handle right here and it's solid, okay? So that's pretty much it. Uh, you have a double, dual attaching points right here. You can't use that slide fire stock on this one simply because of this right here, okay? And also the Magpul enhanced trigger guard right here. This is the aluminum one, not the polymer. I don't think there's anything wrong with the polymer, but uh, this has the Nikon M223 uh, scope on it. That's a 2 by 8 power, uh, a 32 millimeter. This got the. Uh, this is set for the ballistics for a 223 55 grain polymer tip bullet traveling 3,240 feet per second. It's sighted in at 
hundred yards, you're good to go to six hundred yards using the the at, set it at uh, eight power. You're good to go using the the adjustments just in the crosshairs itself. You don't even have to do any other adjustments for it. Son, that's pretty much it on this rifle. Uh, I love you. You have fun shooting this. Be safe.